Hello yogis, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and you enjoyed this class, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. We're going to go ahead and get started right away in a comfortable cross-legged seated position just like this. Feel free to grab your blocks, a bolster to sit on, and then just come into this comfortable seated position. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this way. Make sure both sit bones are firmly grounded, sitting up nice and tall, shoulders over hips. Feel free to place your hands on top of your thighs. Let your shoulders roll down your back and slightly tuck the tailbone, core is engaged. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh it out. As you take your inhales, visualize your spine growing taller and taller, fixing your posture. And with every exhale, root down your sit bones all the way in towards the floor. On your next inhale, feel free to gently blink your eyes open, walk your hands forward, and as you exhale, hinge from your hips, lower all the way down as far as you can go without your sit bones lifting up. Keep your spine long and straight so chest stays lifted, opening up through the heart. And you're gonna feel that nice gentle stretch into the outer hips here. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk your hands over to the right, fold directly over your right knee. Extend through your arms, reach forward. Keep your shoulders squared. Inhale, sit up a little taller, lengthen your spine. Exhale, move over to your left. So chest stays lifted. Broadening through your collarbones. You should also feel that nice side body stretch into the right side here. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, come back to center. Inhale, sit all the way up. Release your legs and cross the opposite ankle on top. So we're going to do that again. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, hinge from your hips. Fold over your legs. Keeping your chest lifted, pull your heart forward, root your sit bones down, inhale. And as you exhale, let's walk over to the left this time. Slightly drop your right shoulder down, keeping your chest squared. Inhale. And exhale, walk your arms over to the right. Root down your left sit bone. So again, your glutes are grounded. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, come back to center. Roll all the way up to your standing position. And let's meet in our first downward facing dog. First down dog of class. So feel free to pedal out your knees, skin to the backs of your legs. Notice how your shoulders feel. Keep your head fully relaxed, gazes back. Come back to stillness, inhale, right leg high. Lead with your inner thigh, keep your hips squared. Exhale, now open up your hip, bend your right knee, open up through your inner thighs. Drop your right shoulder down, spine stays long. Push your chest back towards the back of your mat. See if you could point your right knee up just a little bit higher, really opening up through your hip. Inhale, right leg high. Resquare your hips by rolling your right outer hip down. Exhale, right foot to the outside of your right hand. First lizard lunge here. Keep your left knee lifted. Shoulder stays over your wrist. Keep your heart lifted, just like your upward facing dog. So there's a slight back bend here. Feel free to rock forward and back. Create some circles. Breathe into those hips.
drop your left knee. Inhale, stretch your right arm up. Open your chest. Exhale, quad stretch. Bend your left knee. Grab your left foot with your right hand. Feel free to drop to your left forearm. Maybe getting deeper into your hip flexor. Still opening up through your right outer hip. Release your left foot. Replant your hands. First half pigeon pose here. Walk your right foot over to the left. Drop your right knee. Make sure right knee stays pointing out. Scoot your left leg back, hip squared. Feel free to stay here in your first half pigeon pose. Feel free to grab a block underneath to sit on. Otherwise, hinge from your hips, fold over your right leg. Come back to the breath. Slow, steady breaths. Replant your palms, lift your chest, downward facing dog. If you really want to add a chaturanga here, feel free to do so. Once you're back in your down dog, settle in, find stillness. Inhale, left leg high. Keep your hips squared. Really breathe into the back of your right leg here. Then as you exhale, bend your left knee, open up your hip. Point your left knee as high as you can without opening up through your left side body. Inhale, point your left knee up just a little bit higher. And exhale, three-legged downward facing dog. Inhale, hold here. Exhale, lizard lunge. Few breaths here. Create some movements, rock forward and back. Notice if the side feels different from the other side, bringing awareness. And if you feel extra tight today, maybe tighter than the other days, notice why. Maybe you were sitting a little bit more than usual this week. Maybe you went running. And drop your right knee, inhale, twist over to the left. Exhale, grab your right foot with your left hand. Keep the twist in your torso. The more you hug your right heel into your glute, the more hip stretch you'll feel. Slowly release your right foot. Half pigeon pose. Come back onto your palms. Walk your left foot over to your right wrist. Drop your left shin. Take a few breaths here to adjust, keeping your hips and shoulders squared. And we'll take five breaths here, whether you're in your half pigeon with your chest lifted or your sleeping pigeon. Downward facing dog is where we'll meet. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale, right leg high, hip square. Exhale, low lunge, right foot between your thumbs. Drop your left knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Lift your torso over your hips, arms above your head. Soften your shoulders down your back. Draw your front ribs in. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Lift up through your hips. And as you exhale, sink a little bit deeper into your front knee. Inhale. Exhale. Last inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, lift your left knee, step your right foot back, Chaturanga Dandasana, on or off your knees. Inhale, your choice of back bend, either cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your right knee. Inhale, crescent moon. So really feeling it into your right hip flexor here, into the psoas, maybe into your inner thighs for some, into your left hamstrings. Keep your legs active. So really focus on hugging the inner thighs in. So you're not just dumping into your hips, relaxing. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Feel free to skip it at any time by holding in your high plank and straight to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. This time, keep your left knee lifted. Inhale, high lunge. Lift your torso, shoulders over hips, arms above your head. Now notice if there's too much arch in your lower back. If so, tuck your tailbone, even if that means bending through the back knee. So keeping that lower back as flat as possible so you don't dump into the lower back here. Inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Last inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge, feet stays hip width. Keep your frontal hip bones squared by drawing your left outer glute back, right hip forward. Again, keeping your legs active, hips active. Hug the outer glutes in. Inhale. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Last inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Feel free to drop into your child's pose. Grab some water if you need. It is getting hot here, at least in California. So always be mindful of staying hydrated. Let's meet back in downward facing dog. And we'll flow through our nice hip stretch flow here. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your left knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, your vinyasa. Inhale, your choice of back bend. Exhale, hips high. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Keep your left knee lifted. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, chaturanga. Once you're in your downward facing dog, again, five breaths. So feel free to drop into your child's pose. Me back in downward facing dog.
Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, vinyasa. Once you're in your down dog, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Left knee stays lifted. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, chaturanga. Go ahead and finish off your left side on your own. Breath to movement, so please don't rush. Once you're in your down dog, let's all drop on to our knees. Either sit on your heels or fixed firm. Sit between your heels. Keep your knees connected, thighs touch. Sitting up tall, focusing on your posture. Draw the shoulders back, heart opens. Taking this moment to quiet down, slow down the body. Breathe in, last breath out here. Good, inhale, walk your hands forward, exhale, back to downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your left knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Hands to heart. Shift forward. Exhale, revolved crescent moon. Hook your left elbow on top of right thigh. Try to bring your thumbs to heart center as you twist and open your chest. Maybe sink a little bit deeper into your hips. Inhale, gaze down. Exhale, drop both hands to the inside of your right foot. Walk your right foot out. Second runner's lunge here. Feel free to drop to your forearms. Option to keep your head relaxed. So a little bit of rounding your back is fine here. Good. Replant your hands. Walk your right foot back to center. And then make sure your right heel and your left knee is in line. Then pivot your, pivot your left foot slightly out and come standing on top of your left knee. So a warrior two variation here. Feel free to place your hands on top of hips. Inhale, tuck your tailbone, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend your right knee. Now, hold here. Make sure your right knee is pointing out, just like warrior two. Really feeling that stretch into the inside of your right hip, all the way down into your groins. Inhale, straighten your right leg as best as you can. Exhale, rebend. Open up through your right outer hip here. Two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good. Now come back to center, shoulders over hips, point your right toes forward, drop your left hand, 
coming into a modified side plank. Left hand underneath your left shoulder. Reach your right arm up and over, feeling that nice side body stretch. So really focusing on that nice hip extension. Make sure to push your hips forward, opening up through the hip here. Good. Now you're going to come towards the back of the mat into your downward facing dog. Settle back into your down dog. Take a few adjustments. Then find stillness. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your right knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, revolved crescent moon. Five breaths. Inhale, gaze down. Exhale, runner's lunge. So imagine your right thigh is about to touch the floor. You want to really sink into the hips here. Keeping your left knee over your left ankle. Come back onto your hands. Stack your left heel directly in line with your right knee. Pivot your right foot out. Inhale, rise to a modified warrior two, hands on hips. Inhale, retuck your tailbone. Exhale, bend your left knee. Make sure your left knee doesn't pass the ankle. So if it does, feel free to walk your foot forward. F three more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Coming into our modified side plank. Reach your left arm up and over. Again, pushing the chest and hips forward. Roll your left side body out, opening up through the front side of your body. Breathe in. And drop your left hand. Good. Coming back to our downward facing dog towards the top, facing the top or the front of your mat. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, back. To half pigeon, second set. This time, let's all lower down into our sleeping pigeon. Make sure your right knee is pointing out again, rather than forward. You can either stay on top of your forearms or lower your forehead all the way down. So I really like our half pigeon pose here. Really focusing on not just the left hip flexor, but the right outer hip. So getting that both the external and internal. Come back onto your palms, lift your chest, then swing your left leg forward, coming into our double pigeon. So I'll go ahead and face you guys for a double pigeon. Left shin bone on top of the right. So you want your left ankle directly on top of the right knee, left knee directly on top of the right ankle. It might not be perfect. You might have to sit on a block or place a block underneath your left knee. Good, and feel free to fold over, hinge. And let's just take one more breath here. Inhale, exhale. Good. Slide your left leg behind you again, downward facing dog. And we'll come into our half pigeon pose on your left side. Take as many adjustments to settle into your half pigeon. Let's all sleep, fold, fold over and take a few breaths here. Such a nice, relaxing 
restorative pose here. Come back onto your hands. Swing your right leg forward. Coming back into our double pigeon on the left side. Just taking three breaths here, so not too long. Remember, you could always stay lifted because this is a deep pose as it is. No need to hinge forward or fold over. Good, inhale, slowly rise. Let's come back to our cross-legged seated position. This time, see if you don't need a bolster or a block since we really went into our hips the last 25 minutes or so. Come into the, that comfortable seated position. If you really need to grab your block, no worries, your body, your practice. Close your eyes, sit up nice and tall. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, soften your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bring your thumbs to your heart center. Inhale. And exhale. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis. I'll see you guys next time.